This video tutorial is for pick and paint and mesh statistics. They work together. Instead of using color maps of the whole service model, you can localize your quantification of changes to a certain region by picking and painting the region of interest you want to measure. First, load a color map model into 3D Slicer, as you need to use a color map for these two modules. At the Modules drop-down menu, select Pick and Paint. On the left toolbar, underneath Selection Region of Interest, for Model of Reference, choose the model that you want to add the landmarks to. Next, click Add and click on the model to add a landmark. You can move the landmark wherever you would like on the model. On the left toolbar, you can use the scale sliding bar to make the landmark smaller or larger, depending on what you want. Next, you select the region of interest. So for landmark 1, we chose a radius of 5, but as you can see, you can pick whatever you would like. The radius doesn't change until you put the cursor on top of the model again. You don't have to click, you just have to move the cursor. Now, you can add as many landmarks as you would like. Sometimes the landmarks don't appear and you just need to zoom in and out. For this second landmark we place, we scale it to be small, then set a radius of four, and click W on our keyboard. This shortcut keystroke changes it to mesh. In this view, we can count the radius of four and see the created region of interest, which is also displayed by the difference in color. We will add a third landmark as an example. Click Add on the left toolbar, and if the landmark doesn't appear after placement, zoom in and out to make it visible. Whenever you add another landmark, all the sizes go back to the original, and if you make one smaller, they all will be smaller. When you set the radius, here we set 11. You can count the intersection of the points to 11. Here, the radius is not measured in millimeters, but in the intersection of neighboring points. You can calculate the millimeters in the statistics. Once you are done selecting your points, go to Modules in the upper toolbar and select Mesh Statistics. Under Model, select the model you want to obtain statistics on. Under Region Considered, select which region you are interested in, or the entire model. Under Field Name, select the statistics you would like to run. We choose signed point-to-point -point distance, which is the 3D distance, and X, Y, and Z, which is lateral, anterior, posterior, and vertical. Next, click Run. You are then given all the statistics in this table, which you can export as separate files, or as the same file. Here, we set the directory and kept them as the same file, and clicked Export. Here, you can see the files with their statistics together.